everybody's Jim with RV with the Tanners and today I'm going to do a quick uh, customization to the lock mechanism on our trailer we installed an aftermarket lock it's a keyless entry lock uh, it's called from RV lock I'll show it to you in just a moment but the problem with it was you had to actually enter your code <clears throat> in order to actually lock the RV now we thought that was kind of a waste so we contacted the manufacturer and then they sent us out a replacement circuit board they want to show you how to do that swap in just a second and then what it does is allow you just to hit the lock button and not enter your key code in order to lock it. All right, so here's the lock itself. It's an aftermarket lock. And you can see it has a keypad and a lock and unlock icon. And every time we'd leave the RV, we have to enter our code, four digits, and then hit the lock icon. Again, not what we wanted to do. So what you have to do is take the back off, order the replacement part, it's $9. And then you take the back off, it's four screws. And then you unhook this little connection here, and then you're gonna actually end up with the device itself, the actual locking mechanism. Um, and then we're gonna do uh, the customization to this. And then here's the PCB that they sent me. So we'll get this on a workbench, and I'll show you how to install the new PCB board. All right, so I've removed the lock from the trailer. I've already removed the two screws here and here, so we'll take the battery cover off. And we'll remove the batteries. And then buried inside here are two clips, one here and here. So we're gonna punch those with a little screwdriver to remove it. Yep. And then that one. Flip it over, and that cover comes off. Here's the old PCB that needs to be removed. There are two rails here and here that it slides in and out on. So we'll go ahead and take that out. You gotta remove the power. Be very careful here. Pull that out, pull that out of here, and then we can remove the old PCB. Here's the new one, and we're going to do just the opposite of that to install it. So I'm going to put the power cord in. It's very, very small, so make sure you get it lined up. A little snap in. That snapped in. Again, line up the rails here. There, and tuck the power and ground cord back in. This cord will snug into there. And that's nice and tight in there. And then we're just gonna reverse the process. All right, so we've successfully replaced the circuit board in the back. I've put the lock back on the door. So now what we can do is just, instead of hitting our codes, I'll just hit the lock button for a second. And you'll see that it locks itself. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to talking to more videos in the future. Thanks.